In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning to everybody. Um, these days we are reading, and the first readings about the book of the Maccabees. This morning we will read uh, chapter 2nd of the book of Maccabees. Um, we are uh, like in 160 before Christ. And who are these Maccabees? Uh, it's a priestly it's a priestly family inside the Jews, of course, they are all Jews. And uh, in the first reading, we will read about one of them whose name is Matathias. Matathias is, uh, is a man who, who rebelled to the king that is at the time a Seleucid king, Antiochus IV, who rebelled because the king is imposing a pagan religion and is defiling the temple. And so we will see in the first reading what Matthias will do. Uh, the, the man who will go on the altar to defile the altar, he will kill. He will kill the man. Yeah. So it's a, it's a very violent reading, but uh, the meaning is that these people in a time of persecution they rebelled at the cost of their lives against a pagan king. Let us acknowledge our sins while we pray for the intentions of today. For the repose of the soul of Elvira Jose, the intentions of Ning Haluk, for Yadar Jose Arita Roche, and for Anna Villalobos, for her health. Uh, today, at the end of, the, of this Mass, there will be also a prayer of blessing for those who serve in this church uh, with the little services of cleaning and also being always present, you know, in church for whatever we need. Of course, without them, it would be, it would be impossible for us, you know to stay here, even to stay here and pray the Lord. So it's a time that we recognize this as a, a, a calling and a ministry that they do for the church. So thank you for them. This Mass is also for all of you that in many ways serve this church. Let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
A reading from the first book of Maccabees. The offices of the king in charge of enforcing the apostasy came to the city of Modin to organize the sacrifices. Many of Israel joined them, but Matthias and his sons gathered in a group apart. Then the officers of the king addressed Mattathias, you are a leader, an honorable and great man in this city, supported by sons and king. Come now, be the first to obey the king's command, as all the Gentiles and the men of Judah and those who are left in Jerusalem have done. Then you and your sons shall be numbered among the king's friends and shall be enriched with silver and gold and many gifts. But Mattathias answered in a loud voice, Although all the Gentiles in the king's realm obey him, so that each forsakes the religion of his fathers and consents to the king's orders, yet I and my sons and my kin will keep to the covenant of our fathers. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the commandments. We will not obey the words of the king nor depart from our religion in the slightest degree. As he finished saying these words, a certain Jew came forward in the sight of all to offer sacrifice on the altar in Modin according to the king's order. When Mattathias saw him, he was filled with zeal. His heart was moved and his just fury was aroused. He sprang forward and killed him upon the altar. At the same time, he also killed the messenger of the king who was forcing them to sacrifice and he tore down the altar. Thus he showed his zeal for the law, just as Phineas did with Zimri, son of Salu. Then Mattathias went through the city shouting, let everyone who is zealous for the law and who stands by the covenant follow after me. Thereupon, he fled to the mountains with his sons, leaving behind in the city all their possessions. Many who sought to live according to righteousness and religious custom went out into the desert to settle there. The word of the Lord. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. To the upright, I will show the saving power. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice and fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in time of distress. I will rescue you, and you shall glorify me.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you, they will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you. Because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be the Lord. So as you know, there is this place in uh, Jerusalem, approaching Jerusalem, that is called Dominus Flevit. Dominus Flevit in Latin means uh, Jesus wept, wept over the city of Jerusalem. It's a time where there is a, there is a little chapel and it's possible to celebrate Mass. Usually when uh, pilgrims goes to, go to Jerusalem, they have the chance to celebrate one Mass there. I did it myself uh, a few years ago. And yes, it's, uh, it's a place that gives you the opportunity to meditate about the sadness of Jesus which is the sadness of God who is bestowing his grace upon us to no avail. Wasted graces, wasted help from God. And even so, he keeps on sending graces. He never gets discouraged, but the problem is that he's not seeing any change in us. That's why it's even God cries. Yes, it seems a contradiction. How can even God uh, cry if he, if he is happy in heaven? Well, yes, he cries because he loves. If you love, you cry. There is no love without pain. There is a Saint Augustine <coughs> uh, that says this uh, very famous, famous sentence. Timeo domine transeunte. Timeo domine transeunte. Uh, it's referred to what Jesus said at the, at the end of the, this gospel because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. And so St. Augustine said, I fear God who is passing by. He's passing by, I don't recognize him, and then he's gone. He's gone, yeah. So he had, he was so afraid of losing, you know, any word of God. Well, maybe we should take more care of it. We should be more, uh, more, uh, we should pay more attention 
to all the graces that we lose every day. What if? What if we rot? What if we rot down all the lost graces? Those things that we understand, we see, that it, it's something that God is trying to tell me, and then nothing changes in my life. And then I forget. Yeah, this is the most common uh, mistake that uh, we do. So today we also uh, repeat, we will repeat also ourselves, the words of St. Augustine. Timeo Domine Transeunte. I fear God who is passing by. Trusting in God's goodness, let us offer him our prayers and petitions. For the church leaders, may God give them courage as they stand up for truth and goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater respect for human life throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with their faith, may God's light and the comfort of his faithfulness fill their hearts and minds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit continue to empower us in saying yes to what God asks of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have passed from this life, may they enjoy the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those special petitions we hold so dear in our minds, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Elvira Jose, the intentions of Ning Haluk, Yadr Jose Arita Roche, and for the health of Anna Villalobos. Let us pray to the Lord. God of mercy and love, please hear and answer our prayers in accordance with your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Jane Francis de Chantal, with our Father Saint Hannibal, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and full by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer a sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have this peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> we have partaking of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> and now let us give a blessing all those who serve in uh, the church. So you may approach here to receive a blessing and a little sign for you. Let us pray. O oh God, you accepted in your temple the service of the Levites, and your Son accepted the loving ministry of faithful friends. We pray to you to bless the work that this altar society undertakes in the care of your church for the sake of all. Grant them a spirit, a spirit of reverence for your house and worship, your word and sacraments, and preserve the purity and holiness of their souls and bodies as living temples of your presence. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So now you will receive a little sign of uh, <coughs> not only appreciation, but uh, so that you can carry with you the blessing of the Lord. You know, the Lord, our Lord, our God, is a servant. Jesus himself came to serve. One day, he removed all his clothes, uh, wearing, being dressed like a slave. You know, slaves only had underwear, you know. So Jesus removed the mantle and, you know, being like a slave, he washed the feet of the apostles. And he said, I am the master and I'm here like the one who serves. So this is the spirit that we should all uh, use here in church, the spirit of service, knowing that there was an angel who said, uh, I'd rather to reign in hell instead of serving in heaven. Yeah. So with this service, we fight against evil, against pride with our service to the Lord, above all to the house and the people of the Lord. So thank you for your work. Uh, that you do, although all the things that you have to do every day at your house, for your family. You take your time uh, <clears throat> to spend here several hours, many days, uh, for, for giving to God, first of all, and to all the people, your help. That is needed, is very needed. Uh, even when, in the days when it's difficult, because it's not always easy, you know, to come here and to offer that uh, service. Also because uh, I'm not alone, I'm together with other people. And we know that uh, fraternity can be difficult. It has been always difficult since uh, when there were Cain and Abel, so the first two brothers. It didn't work, you know, with them. <laughs> And so it's part of the humanity that working together is not easy. Uh, that's why we need also, why are we asking the blessing from the Lord? Because we are asking uh, His grace in order to have enough attention to everybody. 
maybe some brothers, some sisters who are coming to serve, they are also, they, they carry on the wounds inside. So, take care of them. And may Almighty God bless these items. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of God and of this congregation, I commission you, my dear brothers and sisters, as members of St. Jane Francis de Chantal Altar Society, and I give you these rosaries, St. Joseph, prayer card, and this cross, and the heart lapel pin, as a sign of your valuable ministry here at St. Jane Francis de Chantal Parish. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And thank you for your service. Thank you.